All this talk of Congress is well and good, but unless our southern states are guaranteed the continued existence of slavery, we will be bound to oppose this new constitution in any form. Thank you, Mr. Pinckney. We will keep that in mind. What do you see now? They're voting on Madison's proposal for proportional voting. They're deadlocked. Uh oh. Absolutely. Not going to vote. Not a bad idea. I Mr. Sherman, not. can you tell me what's happening? We've come to a full stop. Full stop? Huh? This convention's falling apart. You two know you shouldn't be here. I'm sorry, Dr. Franklin. We just couldn't stay away. We needed to see how things were going. I'll tell you how they're going. While we bicker in there, the British still hold six forts on American soil. Spain forbids us from trading goods to New Orleans. Barbary pirates raid our ships in the Mediterranean. But we have no navy to stop them because Congress has no money, which means we can't repay our loans from France and Holland. It's not a country, it's a circus. Oh! Dr. Franklin! My gallstones. Afraid I can't walk. Ooh. I'll get Moses. We'll bring your sedan chair. I'll be all right, Sarah. It's the country I'm worried about. <gasps> Dr. Franklin, I thought you might like some soup. Thank you, Sarah. Put it on the table there, please. How are you feeling? Better. But, but stay a moment. You're looking very happy today. Oh, Dr. Franklin, I'm so happy. Mother and I have heard from Father. He's bought land in upstate New York. He'll be arriving here any day now. Splendid. You'll go with him to New York? Certainly. But I won't stay forever. There's so much I want to do. You're in the right country for that. There, all I needed were some stronger lenses for my bifocals, and I can see clearly again. Of course. What is it, Dr. Franklin? The delegates elected a grand committee to settle the voting issue once and for all. I didn't think I was well enough to participate, but now I must attend. But your gallstones! I don't care if they have to carry me in. Oh. Dr. Franklin! <sighs> there. The large states are quite different from each other. They will act on their own interests, not their size. To claim that the large states will dominate the small is a false object. Gentlemen, I have the solution. Just as I wear bifocals with two kinds of lenses, we have two houses in our Congress. Let the upper house abide by the principle of one state, one vote. But let the members of the lower house be elected by proportional vote. It would be a house of representatives. That sounds reasonable. I can live with that. Good idea. Dr. Franklin, you are a genius. new government will have a Senate, a House of Representatives, a Supreme Court, and a President. A leader who's not a king! What kind of president will we have? That's one of the issues that hasn't been settled. Our president should serve for life. Congress should choose our president. We should have three presidents. We'll settle the matter soon enough. And I dare say we all know who will be elected our first president. There's a more pressing issue that still must be decided. Whether the new constitution will allow my people to be kept in slavery. 
It can't do that. I mean, will it really? It is an issue that I fear will be decided on the basis of politics, not morality. In order to have our fair share of representation in Congress, we demand that the Constitution count three-fifths of a state's slaves as part of its population. If Mr. Pinckney says slaves are nothing more than property, why not let Massachusetts count horses and cattle as part of our population? Slavery will bring the judgment of heaven upon us. Does not the Honorable Mr. Mason own slaves himself? Gentlemen, if slavery is abolished by this convention, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina will not be parties to this union. You're up late. Are you all right, Dr. Franklin? Fine. Just couldn't sleep. Me neither. Moses, you know what I think of the practice of slavery. I, I despise it with every bone in my body. It's not going to be abolished in the new Constitution, is it? I'm sorry, Moses. The delegates have reached an odious compromise between the North and South. It was the only way to save the Union. How long will this union last? A country that keeps so many of its people in bondage. I'm a peace-loving man, Ben. And I'm afraid of the price we might have to pay to win freedom for everyone. I am too, my friend. We've fought one war for liberty. I hope we won't have to fight another. You might as well know I'll be leaving here soon. I'm moving forward with my plans to open a school for free Negro children. That's a school I'd like to support. I appreciate that, Dr. Franklin, but I've saved my own money for it, just like I did when I bought my freedom. I understand. Well, Governor Morris is reworking the language of the Constitution. All that remains is to sign it and send it to the states for their approval. Good night, Moses. Good night, Dr. Franklin. See that sun on General Washington's chair? I've sat here since May, asking myself if that sun is setting or if it is rising. Today, I have the happiness of knowing that it is, indeed, a rising sun. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, to establish justice, promote the general welfare, and to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. that I will faithfully execute the office of the President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. It is done. Long live George Washington, President of the United States! <laughs> confess there were times I nearly lost hope. Do you think this government will last, Dr. Franklin? It will as long as the people want it to. There are going to be some hard challenges ahead. I'm afraid you're right, Moses. Nothing man does is perfect. But 
all in all, the world has never seen anything like it. I still can't believe it. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Father of his country. Suddenly, anything seems possible. As long as we stay united. United we stand, divided we fall. But remember, the Constitution doesn't guarantee happiness, only the pursuit of it. You have to catch up with it yourself.